Hi, my name is Alan Kay. I'm an immigration lawyer. I have over 40 years experience. I'm based in New York, but my clients are all over the country and all over the world. Today we're going to talk a little bit about how to get a green card. And in connection with getting a green card, every month the visa office produces a bulletin which gives you the waiting times for most of these categories. Now, I make up a bulletin, and this is the bulletin for December. So those of you who are interested in getting a copy of the bulletin, either send me an email or send me a mailing address, and I will send you a copy of my bulletin. The front gives the waiting times, and the second gives an explanation of the categories. So I think it's very valuable. And if you want a copy, just get in touch with me by email and give me your address or your email address, and I'll send it to you. Let's talk now about how to get a green card. And basically, there are a few ways of getting a green card. One way is by having close relatives here. We'll talk about that in a minute. The second way is through employment. We'll talk about that. The third way is the famous visa lottery. Every year we have a visa lottery. The visa lottery is for most countries in the world. I'll say about 10, 12 countries that are not included in the visa lottery. It's also possible to get an immigrant visa by investing money in American business. We'll try to talk about that if we have enough time. And the last way is uh, through political asylum, refugee political asylum. So let's start off by telling about how you can become a permanent resident through family. And through family means uh, mother, father, sister, brother, husband, wife. And you'll see that on my visa chart, which starts off by talking about family-sponsored categories. And the family-sponsored categories start with the immediate relative category. Immediate relatives are the husbands and wives of American citizens, the children under 21 and not married of American citizens, and the parents of American citizens whose children are over 21. That's the immediate relative category. It's a very fast category. Uh, it may take some time for immigration to approve the petition, there's no waiting time on this chart for immediate relatives. The next category on the chart is unmarried sons and daughters of American citizens. There's a backlog on that category for most countries in the world. It's like seven years. Uh, the second category is husbands and wives of green card holders, uh, and the next category and the and children of green card holders under 21. The next category is unmarried sons and daughters of permanent residents over 21. The F3 category is married sons and daughters of US citizens. And the last category is brothers and sisters of American citizens. All of these categories have different waiting times. And some countries have longer waiting times than the rest of the world. So on my chart, you will see that China, India, Mexico, and the Philippines have longer waiting times than the rest of the world. So how do I get a green card? Number one, through family. And I've just kind of very quickly told you what relatives can help you become a permanent resident. The next category is the employment-based category, which is where either you sponsor yourself in an employment-based category or an employer sponsors you. So on the employment-based categories, the first category is E1, uh, employment one. It's called priority workers. And those are people who are have extraordinary ability in the arts and sciences, outstanding professors and researchers, and international business people. Uh, the E1 extraordinary ability, some, you don't have to sponsor anybody, you can sponsor yourself. Uh, the outstanding professors and researchers need an employer to file for you. The international business people need an employer to file for you, but that's the E1 category. It's basically a pretty fast category. The next category is E2, professionals holding advanced degrees and people of exceptional ability. By and large, most of those people need an employer to sponsor you. There's one exception where you can sponsor yourself by doing what's called a national interest waiver. The third category is skilled workers and professionals. Uh, for most of these categories that I'm going through, uh, those categories are kind of like not not much of a waiting time. The only one, the E1, the priority workers, that's got about a waiting time of about a year and a half, but all the rest that I'm gonna talk about don't have a waiting time unless you're from China, El Paso, Salvador, India, Mexico, the Philippines, and Vietnam, they have waiting time. So EW, is ex EW are skill, unskilled workers. Uh, they have a waiting time also. 
E4 is special immigrants, people who work for the American consulate overseas. Uh, religious workers, they're called special immigrants. Uh, and uh, e, so that's an E4 category, special immigrants, religious workers. And the final category is E5, which is the famous investor category, where you invest at least $500,000 in an American business in an area of high unemployment, and that investment is gonna generate 10 new jobs. Um, if it's not an area of high unemployment, the investment should be a million dollars. Congress has, uh, has put new regulations in, in effect, about to be in effect, which will raise the amount. So in the very near future, it's gonna be one point something million instead of 500,000. So if you're investing, if you want interested in investing, you should do it right away before they change the regulations before to, to move it up to one point, I think it's $1.8 million. But that's the green card investment program. And under that category, you get um, a green card, you get a two year green card. At the end of two years, you have to file again to change the two year green card to a permanent green card. And now we also have the visa lottery. Uh, every year, Congress, uh, every year, the law, immigration announces when the filing period will be for the visa lottery. Uh, usually it's a two-month period. Uh, if you win the visa lottery, you, they, uh, there are five different countries, on the five different areas of the world in the visa lottery. There's uh, Europe, there's Africa, there's uh, New Zealand and Australia, uh, there's Asia, and there's the South and Central America. Uh, those categories are uh, have different quotas under the total 55,000 for visa lottery. Uh, so, so far we've covered family-sponsored immigration, employment-sponsored immigration, uh, political asylum is a separate category, uh, refugee political asylum. Uh, the investor category is under the employment category, but it's another way of doing it through investing. Uh, now there's an, also another situation where if you've been in the United States illegally, or legally, but you've out of status more than 10 years, you can file for something called, uh, for something where you file for, uh, for a green card, but you have to go before an immigration judge, uh, and the judge has to decide whether you will be subject to, your family, your close relatives will be subject to extreme and unusual hardship if you had to go home, okay? So uh, those basically are the different ways of becoming a permanent resident. Family, okay. Employment, okay. Visa lottery, okay. Uh, refugee political asylum, okay. And I break out the investor category, even though it's part of employment, I mean, there's the investor category, which right now is a $500,000 investment, but should be going up in the very near future to higher than that, maybe $1.8 million. Uh, so remember that here's my visa chart, which kind of summarizes all the different categories that I've talked about. The front of the visa chart gives you the waiting times for the different categories, and for different countries have different waiting times. On the back, it gives a more of an explanation of the different category that I've talked about. So if you want a copy of my visa chart, feel free to uh, call me, feel free to send me an email if you, and tell me how you want it. I can mail it to you, I can email it to you, but I, it comes out every month, and so this is my December visa chart. And every month I will produce another visa chart and every month you get in touch with me, I'll send you another copy of the visa chart. So this is uh, our an initial program uh, in terms of telling you how you can get a green card. We'll be talking about other subjects in the near future. Uh, I'd be interested in hearing from you, things you'd like me to talk about in the future. Uh, give me your comments, let me know what you thought. Be happy to hear from you. Thank you for listening, and I'll be back again soon.